Hey, did you know that the atmosphere of the Earth is created in such a way to produce ideal conditions for the transmission and propagation of sound waves? This means that God literally created the planet as the optimal medium for the transition and transmission of sound. It also means that our very planet is a perfect environment to enable us human creatures to be able to communicate very effectively with one another and also to worship our creator using speech and music and percussion and strings and other methods of sound wave generation. Not only that, but similar to the planetary design, our biological bodies were designed to praise God too. That's why he gave us vocal cords to sing, hands for percussion, and bodies to dance and posture and worship. As a matter of fact, King David was so enamored with worshiping God that he established something called the Tabernacle of David, which was basically a non-stop worship service with an orchestra of choirs and singers and an extraordinarily diverse range of instruments. Furthermore, the word universe can be translated literally as one song, meaning the entire world occurred as a direct result of the song to the Lord. As Psalm 19, 1 to 4 beautifully says, The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hands, day after day they pour forth speech, night after night they display knowledge, there is no speech or language where their voice is not heard, their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the end of the earth. Well, based on all that, it should come as no surprise to you that one of the most natural happiness and emotion-inducing activities in the world for a human being is to make music and to listen to music. After all, music is the language God seems to speak quite passionately. So, after learning all that, let me ask you, do you have a relationship with music? Well, if not, I recommend beginning your day by waking each morning to a favorite song. It really sets a standard for the day when music is the very first thing that greets your ears. Maybe after a little bit of bird song, a touch of sunshine, and a little walk downstairs to your basement or your backyard or wherever you want to put on that favorite song. There's a lot of different playlists you can listen to. I'll give you a recommendation for one of my favorites. It's called Soaking Worship on Spotify. Beautiful music to wake up to. Turns my whole house into a temple. I think you'll love it. Thanks for watching. And remember, music needs to be a part of your life. It's how you were created.